your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Cynthia Newsom with your 41 Action News update. Kansas City police are investigating three homicides that happened today. There was a double homicide near 25th and Jackson this morning around 7. Uh, they found a man and a woman in the same car who'd been shot to death. Investigators are still trying to figure out what happened. Uh, they said that this has been a distressing day so far. Three before lunchtime today, um, two different scenes. It's, it's obviously very concerning. Um, the detectives uh, are working tirelessly. They, they worked through all of the evidence and everything last night, and now they're processing this one here. All right, the two homicides this morning came after another homicide overnight. Officers found a car on fire on southbound 71 Highway near 75th Street just a little after midnight. They found a man who'd been shot. Crews rushed the man to the hospital where he died. Now, so far, police have told us, uh, have not told us if they've arrested anyone in these three homicides. 2020 continues to be a violent year for our community. The homicide count is now 135 people killed in homicides this year in Kansas City. Well, the number of laid off Americans applying for unemployment benefits took a big dip last week. Roughly 880,000 people filed for first time jobless benefits last week. Some economists consider that a sign of possible improvement. But it's also evidence the ongoing pandemic is still forcing businesses to cut jobs. Your forecast is next. Some clouds this afternoon should give way to a sunny evening with temperatures in the 80s this afternoon. Speaking of the evening, lows tonight fall into the 50s and possibly even some isolated spots in the 40s. The 90s and the humidity are back for the weekend. Best chance of rain looks to be on Tuesday. Get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.